And a former aide to the New York governor, Kathy Hochul, has been charged with secretly acting as an agent of the Chinese government in exchange for millions of dollars in compensation and gifts. Linda Sun and her husband pleaded not guilty at a court in Brooklyn. She was previously the deputy chief of staff to Ms. Hochul and continued to work in state government until she was fired last year for alleged misconduct. Our correspondent Carl Nasman has more from Washington. This is a pretty wild story here. Ms. Sun is essentially accused of being a Chinese spy and operating within the state government of New York. She's facing 10 criminal counts, including visa fraud, uh, including money laundering. Prosecutors say that a lot of her alleged activity within the state government really relates to Taiwan. So they say that she was changing documents changing speeches to eliminate references to Taiwan uh, in terms of what the governor was actually saying. She allegedly canceled meetings between the then president of Taiwan and the then governor of New York, Andrew Cuomo. So it's possible that a Chinese spy had access to some pretty high level dealings, some pretty important foreign policy when it comes to one of the most important states in the country. So this was a lucrative business, allegedly multi-million dollar homes that the FBI raided, a Ferrari involved here. But really one of the most interesting details in this indictment is that the kickbacks also included a delicacy, a dish called Nanjing salted duck. This is a regional specialty in China, and apparently prosecutors say that she was given 16 meals of salted duck. These were delivered, and they were prepared by a Chinese government's personal uh, chef. So this was all done. You know, we were used to hearing about gold bars or money, but apparently this was kind of a delicious side benefit, a kickback of, of salted duck involved here. There is so much interest. This was leading really the newspapers and the evening news here in the United States. There's a lot of questions. They want to know how exactly this might have happened that an alleged Chinese spy could actually get this kind of government position for as long as you mentioned, you know, more than a decade here. There are some calls for investigations. The top Republican in the state uh, Congress wants to investigate this. Of course, we should say the governor, Kathy Hochul, she says that as soon as any allegations of misconduct were uncovered, that this woman was immediately fired and reported to authorities. And that's where this investigation and this eventual arrest came from. But, you know, this comes at a time, of course, of increased tensions between the country. There was that uh, incident last year with that spy balloon that was believed to come from China floating across the country. This really does highlight the tensions and the, the issues between the U.S. and China. So a lot of lawmakers are going to be looking into this, but really a crazy story with some very interesting details here coming out uh, from New York. It's Carl Nassman in Washington.